Hello everyone. So now we are going to learn how we can configure the RIP version 2 in Cisco Packet Tracer in Cisco router. So let me take two router. I am taking this router 2811. I am taking this two router. I am going to connect this two router with the cable and let me take some switch here. So I will take two switches here and let me take some PC. So let me take two PC or three PC. Okay, and then we will connect this one. So if you see here, I connected this one. I connected from this PC to switch and from switch to the router. And I will rename this router. Let me rename this label. I will give here R1 this one. I will give here R2 this one. And we are going to use the IP schema 192.168.2.0 slash 24 this side. And here I will give 192.168.1.1 slash 24. And here I will give 192.168.2.1 slash 24. And now we need to configure the RIP. So how we will configure the RIP version 2 in the Cisco packet tracer inside the Cisco router. Go here and first we will do the basic configuration. We will change the name of the router. So with this command. I will change the name of the router. After that, I need to assign the IP address. So this is the interface. I will write F0 by 0. I will write here IP address. I will write 192.168.12.1 give space 255.255.0. I will write no shirt. Then I have another interface F0 by 1. This one. I will write here IP address. 192.168.1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 I will write no shut here. So I done the I assign the IP address here. Now I will do the RIP. So I will write router RIP. Okay. Version 2. No auto summary. And then we need to advertise the network. So I have 192.168.12.0. This is a one network. I need to put network ID we need to put. And then we have 1.0. So I am writing this is a network ID. You need to calculate the network ID of this interface, network ID of this interface. So with this one, you will write network and write the network ID, network, network ID. So this way we configure the RIP version 2, router RIP version 2, no auto summary. After that network and the network ID of, of the IP, what we configure on the interface. So R1 configuration is done. We can write WR. And we can go to the R2 and we can do the configuration here. So this is the router 2. So now we can do the configuration in the router 2 also. I will write here enable config T host name R2 and then interface F0 by 0. I will write here IP address 192.168.12.2 give space to 255.255.255.0. I will write no shirt. Then I will write interface F0 by 1 and I will write here IP address 192.168.2.1 give space to 255.255.255.0. I will write no shirt. So we assign the IP address here. Then we will write router RIP version 2 no auto summary. Then you will write network and write the network ID. So network ID of F0 by 0 interface and then network ID of F0 by 1 interface. So 192.168.2.0 that's all. After that we can check we will get the root. So if you write show IP root you can see you will get the root here. Still it is not showing you need to wait for some time after that you will get this 1.1 here. Okay. So we will wait see here now you are getting R means RIP because we configured the RIP version 2. So you are getting R means RIP here and you can see if anyone want to go to 192, 1.0 network, they can forward the what we can say traffic to next hop. Next hop will be this one 12.1 and from this much time this route is up and the leaving interface is this one. And this is a ID value and this is a matrix that is a hope count how many routers are coming here. And if you want to ping here I can assign some IP like I can put any IP here. This is a label I will go inside. I will paste this and I will assign the IP here. You can see gateway will be 1.1. So this is IP I assigned to one PC here. Also I can put the 
label example this one i am assigning here 2.2 dot two. i will go inside the computer i will assign here and we can give the gateway here now we can ping from one side to another side it will work because they have the root now if i ping this 2.2 dot two, it will work if i write here ping 192.168.2.2 dot dot two dot two, and you can see reply will come here so let's see here reply will come first packet may be may be drop for r after that if you see it is working perfectly so what we can say this is the rif version 2 how to configure the rif version 2 in cisco packet tracer inside the cisco router so this lab we done for that one thank you bye